you got a noise coming out of the computer. <laughs> but the most important thing, the reason that song really touches me, is the way that it takes an overwhelming concept like love and distills it into such a simple sentiment as A, B, C. That speaks to us, I think, because we're all looking for simplicity in our lives. Why, well, if there's a way to take our complex, convoluted concerns and somehow disentangle them, we could get back to a feeling we seem to have lost in the past few years. A feeling that we have someone to rely on. A feeling that we're getting ahead. A feeling that we're doing okay. Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters and guests, I got the answer. And it's as easy as A, B, C. ABC stands for always be counting. And if you count the right things and you count them in the right way, you too can have a happy life. <laughs> Let me give you a few examples. The first thing you should always be counting on is your friends. A friend is someone who's there to help you when no one else will. And a great example of this is a story of a Chicagoan named W. Clement Stone. You might not remember him, but when I was young, he was a well-known insurance millionaire and philanthropist around the city. He wrote a book called The Success System That Never Fails. And in that book, he talks about how he got his start. Back during, during the Great Depression, he was starting his insurance career and he saw an opportunity to take a big step forward. There was an agency that was struggling, one that he knew he could turn around. So he offered to buy it. The deal was made, but try as he did, he couldn't come up with enough money for the down payment. He'd asked banks and other businesses and family, and he was still about $1,000 short with time running out. So one night he gets in his car and starts driving around and around the streets of Chicago, looking for some kind of an inspiration. He turned a corner and he saw a house, a house that he recognized as the home of an old friend. Well, he walked up to the house and he knocked on the door and asked that friend if he could borrow $1,000 in the middle of the Great Depression. Well, that must have been some good friend. Because that loan was made. And 10 years later, W. Clement Stone had 1,500 agents working for him. You see, he was counting on his friend. And it made him a success in life. The second thing you should always be counting is your money. Keep an eye on your money. Watch how you spend it. Watch where you spend it. And you'll find you have money for those things that are really important to you. Now, I learned this lesson when I was just a little Matt Walsh growing up on the west side of Chicago, around Pulaski and Lake Street. I was five years old, and one summer day, all the kids were playing in the street. We, we used to do that in the old days, play in the street. When a miraculous thing happened, a circus wagon with gold and green lettering on the side, pulled by a big brown horse, came down our street. It was insanely crazy. All the kids ran up to see what was going on, and a little man driving the horse huh. stood up and said, right, driving the cart, stood up and said, for 10 cents, I'll give each one of you kids a ride around the block two times. I couldn't believe, I could not let this pass me by. So I raced home, I ran into my house, and I found my mom in the kitchen, and I said, Mom, 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 there's a guy, he's got a horse and a cart, and I have 10 cents right around the block, Mom, please, please. And my mother said something to me that day that I haven't forgotten my entire life. She put her hand on my shoulder, and she got down around my level, and said, Honey, if you can find 10 cents in this house, you can have it. You know, I was just five years old. I didn't understand the first thing about money. But I understood that. We didn't have 10 cents. I was devastated. I couldn't take the pony ride. And I can't imagine how my mother must have felt. I mean, not being able to give something as simple as a dime to your little boy. But you know, I thought about that moment over and over and over again in the interceding 55 years of my life, and I realized that that moment, my mother was teaching me my ABCs. Because that evening, when all 10 people in my family sat down for dinner, there was hot food on the table. Mm -hmm. That night, there might have been five of us sleeping in one room, but we had a roof over our head and a safe place to rest. 
At that time, all seven kids were enrolled in Catholic school so that my parents could pass their faith down to their kids. You see, this is how we spent our dimes. Always be counting your money. And you'll have money for the things that are very important. Now, the last thing you should always be counting is your blessings. I'm not a religious man, but I do consider myself to be a blessed man. I've got a comfortable house. I've got a tight-knit, close, loving family. As you can see, I don't miss many meals. <laughs> and another blessing came into my, my life a few years ago with the birth of my grandson, Tommy. Now, these may seem like simple, everyday things to you. A roof over your head, your family around you, dinner on the table, a baby in your arms. Common things, right? Well, that may be true. But these are also blessings. These are blessings that many people in the world and in our country and sadly in our city cannot claim. A friend of mine tells a story about his daughter, all of second grade, walking up to him and saying, Dad, do we live on Easy Street? <laughs> what a strange thing to come out of a kid. I didn't know where she heard the expression. But he answered her honestly when he said, yes, honey, compared to most of the people in the world, we do live on Easy Street. If you count your blessings, you probably realize that you live there too. So my friends, remember your ABCs. Remember to always be counting on your friends, and you'll have friends when you need them. Always be counting your money, and you'll have a few dimes in your pocket when you need them. And always be counting your blessings. If you do this, then you'll be able to sing along with me when I say, a, B, C, it's easy as one, two, three, simple as do, re, me, and you too can be happy if you'll count with me. Mr. Toastmaster. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are moving on to the next part of our meeting. I like to say this is one of my favorite parts. I will now call Mr.